Okay, we're back. Before I show you how to record notes and put them on YouTube, I want to show you how to pull PowerPoint files into the Smart Notebook software. I know PowerPoint was the big thing a few years ago, and it, I'm sure a lot of us have made notes in PowerPoint, and we don't want to get rid of those. We don't want to, you know, lose all that time that we spent, and that's a totally legitimate claim. So what Smart Notebook software will let us do is if we go into File, Import, it will pull our PowerPoint slides in as individual pages into our notebook software. So let me show you. I just made a simple PowerPoint file with two different slides. So what it, the computer will do if I go into Smart Notebook software and I say File, Import, it's going to import um, my PowerPoint presentation into a Smart Notebook software file. It takes a few seconds here to do this and it will open a new notebook file. But when I go into my notebook file now, this is notebook file. This is not PowerPoint anymore. See, here's a notebook file. There's a PowerPoint behind me. They are exactly the same page for page. It's really, really nice to be able to do that. We spent all this time and made all these PowerPoint files. And what do we do with them now that we have smart notebook? Well, we import them and everything is just the same as before. So I wanted to point that out before we talked about how to record the notes and put them onto YouTube. Now, I will be honest with you. The recordings I've made for this presentation have been much harder for me to do than just the problems that I've done for my classes. Um, if you look on my YouTube file, on my YouTube um, channel of Spartan Math, I've got some problems there that I've worked out for my classes. Those took me all of about five minutes to do, and that includes the actual problem and the uploading it onto the internet. These files have taken me a while because I have, I don't have an audience and I um, can't stop and go back and change it later. So the files that you'll use, the recordings that you'll make for your class will be very, very short and very, very easy to make. So what you do is you Select your smart recorder icon. Now, if you don't have the icon there, you can go down to your bar and you right click and you can find it in here in your customizing toolbar. Uh, if you find the smart recorder icon, it's right there and you add it to your toolbar. So you can click on that and you'll get a little screen like this right here that will pop up and this circle will be red. That means you're ready to record. So you click on that and then you start talking and you start writing on your board. And as you can see from what I've done, the different things that I click on are different things that will come up as, as it's being recorded. So it, it's not recording me in terms of my face, but it's recording all my voice. It's recording everything that I'm clicking through as I'm clicking through on the computer, which is really all that the kids need. So you go on there, and when you're done recording, you're done writing, or explaining whatever you're doing, you hit stop, and then it will ask you, where you want to save it, you decide where you want to save it. Now, in terms of YouTube, I think, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but my high school kids come to me probably at least once a week and say, oh, have you seen this file? It's so funny, or this or that. And they love YouTube. So when I started putting files on YouTube, I just felt like I had arrived. And it's just really neat. It doesn't take very long to create an account. Um, when you go to create an account, you know, you give it a username, password, all that good stuff. Nothing major there. Once you've created your account, you go to sign in, and what I'm going to do right now is upload one of my files so that you can see how exactly I uploaded this. So I'm going to click on upload, and I'm going to upload the file that you guys watched just a minute ago, the second file. So I just double clicked on it, and I'm going to provide a description of it. This video shows how I create class notes and test using the smart board notebook software. I do that. It's going to take a few seconds to go through and upload and then I click on save changes and it's done. So we'll come back to that in a few seconds here when it's finished recording. But it's very very easy to do this. It does not take much time at all. Like I said, the time that it took me to make these presentations was much longer than the time it took me to make my actual problems and things that I've put on my YouTube channel for my students. If you want to look at uh, some of the things that I have on my YouTube channel for my students, you can go on YouTube and I think it's, it already has me signed in here, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I just 
made my name Spartan Math on here because we're the Spartans in Waynesville. And you can see the different files that I've already uploaded for my class. The statistics notes. We did a pre I did a few problems for my kids when I thought I wasn't going to be at school. Turned out we had snow day anyway. Different problems that I've worked out for my pre-calculus classes. This is my geometry classes here. So here right here is the worked out solution to problem 16 on page 748 for my geometry kids. And it's really, really nice feature. If I'm absent, I can put notes on here and have the substitute show them. Um, but besides just being absent and using this when I need a substitute, I have been incorporating this and telling my students, these are online, go and look at these, these files. We're not going to spend class time going over this problem. For example, we're going to, I'm going to put it on YouTube and you can look at it whenever you need to. Uh, yesterday in class, my geometry kids asked me if I could do some more measurement conversion problems and put them on YouTube. So I did, and they're there. And I'm going to expect that they've looked at them over the weekend. We're going to talk about that in class. We're going to show them how to use it in class. And, and I do expect them to go there and look at it. Are, are they all doing it? No. But are some of them doing it? Yes. Are kids who normally wouldn't spend time outside of class studying, are they using it? Yes, they are. And that's the really important thing here is that the kids who kind of want to hide and learning is not cool, they're using this outside of class, looking at the YouTube videos and um, studying math outside of class. And that's what I want to try to get them to do. We talk about using their iPods and their iPhones to look at these videos. How much time is it going to take them to do it? Not at all. It's not going to take them any more time to look at this video than it would take them to look at any silly video on YouTube. So in our next slide, I'm going to show you how I upload my class notes to the website. I have a, a Weebly website, as you can see from the handout that Dr. Hyde gave you. And I'm going to go through that with you and show you just how, how I go about putting my class notes on this website. So when you look at this website right here, you can see I have a, a tab for each of my classes. So if we look at the geometry tab, these are the actual class notes that we looked at in class on the 19th. And if I scroll down, you've already seen the class notes that we took on the 26th. We might have landed on the 27th because I think we had a snow day in there. Um, if I pull this up, I save them as a, as a PDF file so anybody can get Adobe Reader and pull up the PDF file to look at the actual class notes from geometry from January 27th. Here they are. These are the actual notes that we took in class. It's got my handwriting on it. This is another thing that the kids think is fun. They, they want to go and do a problem on the board because, am I going to be on the internet? Are you going to put this on the internet? And I say, yes, I'm going to put this on the internet. So you can go up and your writing can be on the internet in our class notes. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do this. How do you put these on here? Gosh, all this must take so much time. It really doesn't. It does not take any time at all. And it really helps break down the walls of your classroom. See you in a minute.